Hey there, I'm meteorologist Chicago Windler. It's Monday and we've got a lot to talk about. First things first, clear skies, light winds, and chilly temperatures tonight. If you thought it was cold when you woke up this morning, it will be just as cold when you wake up tomorrow morning. An extra layer will come in handy. But if you do want to get outside and enjoy, there's a reason you might want to. I'm talking about the Draconid meteor shower, so although it will be chilly, there's a little incentive to maybe see a couple of meteors. This is not going to be one of those big shows like the Perseids that we see every year, but instead you might see a handful of meteors per hour. Every now and again this particular meteor shower surprises and brings quite a bit more, but I'll tell you I was out for 5-10 oh, minutes or so and I did not see a single one. Start to dusk, peaking tonight and again tomorrow night, and get away from the light pollution for the best view. All right, now we got to talk about temperatures. This morning we woke up to 55 in town, 47 at ABIA. I think tomorrow morning it'll be 55 in town and 46 at ABIA. No record low. The Camp Mabry record is 42, set back in 1952. But look at some of these chilly temperatures. Mason, 43 by morning, 47 Thorndale, 50 degrees in LaGrange. So we're going to keep that string of sunny days and clear nights going for the next few days. Notice temperatures start to warm a little bit. 55 early morning tomorrow, 87 by afternoon. Then we tack on 2 degrees to 3 degrees on either side of things as we head through the next couple of days. Moisture increases, humidity increases by the end of the week. There might be an isolated late shower. The big question mark now is the weekend. ACL weekend number two looks like it could involve rain, possibly heavy. For now, I'm going with a 40% chance Saturday, a 50% chance Sunday. A cold front approaching may actually stall through central Texas. If that's the case, it could still be raining on Monday, Columbus Day. We'll keep you updated. And one last thing, the same system that could be bringing us some rain here in Austin over the weekend will likely first move in to the Dallas-Fort Worth area. So if you're going to be heading up to Big D for the big game this weekend. It does look like a good chance of seeing some rain. I'll give more specifics on the game forecast plus the ACL forecast in the days to come. Have a good one.